How are you, my friends? This video is presenting seven old exams questions related to lines and slopes. These questions can be found in the Algebra course lecture 21. Let's start with the first question. This is a multiple choice, MCQ. If the slope of the line, this one here, k plus one x minus 10 y is equal to 45, is minus three over seven, find k. Now, what do we do? If you go back to the lecture 21, you can see that to find the slope, if we have the equation, we need to solve for y. So we need to solve for y here. So I put y, take y on the other side here, bring the 45, then divide by 10. So it becomes k plus one over 10 x, that's all the coefficient, minus 45 over 10. We don't care now about this number here. So the slope is the coefficient of x after solve the given equation for y. Make the two slopes equal. This is given slope minus three over seven. And this is from the equation k plus one over 10. Just cross multiply. 7k plus 7 is equal to minus 30, take 7 on the other side, so this is k, and the answer is d. Let's see question number two. Find an equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining a minus 3, 4, b, 7, 2. The perpendicular means the line that is perpendicular to this line AB and also bisector, which bisects. So it passes through the midpoint. That's the little trick. So bisector is like a bisection. So we find the midpoint. So this is a little sketch here. A and B minus three and four, seven and two. Find the midpoint. So we add X1 plus X2 over two, Y1 plus Y2 over two. So this is uh, seven uh, minus three, four over two is two, six over two is three. This is the midpoint M, you see? This is the line required, the black one. This is what we need. Passes through the midpoint and perpendicular to A and B. Find the slope of AB, so Y2 minus Y1, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So minus two over 10 minus one over five. The lines are perpendicular. So the product of the slopes is minus one. If we have one slope minus one over five, the other slope should be five. So I use five here. And then I take the point, see X1, Y1 is the M. And the M is two, three. So Y minus three is equal to five X minus two. Five X minus 10 bring the here plus three becomes y, five X minus seven. Question number three is a nice question here. Find K, we need to find this K here. It's in this equation here down. This is the K. If the line with X intercept one over three and Y intercept minus half is parallel to this line. So we have two lines parallel. Remember the definition now in lecture 21, two lines are parallel if they have <clears throat> the same slope. So that's the whole idea. See lines are parallel means M1 is equal M2. So let's go now find the points. This is X intercept and this is Y intercept. I find the slope, which I call it M1. Now you have to go through the fractions here y2 minus y1 minus half minus zero, zero minus one over three. Be careful here to divide two fractions. So m1 will be three over two, leave it now. Take the given line. There is a little trick here. You see two x and kx. You have to get the idea, rearrange the equation. In this equation, every line, you have to get one x, one y and numbers. Then you solve for y. See, 2x here, bring the kx there, becomes 2 minus k in the bracket, 1x, common factor. Bring the 15 there, because take 5y on the other side, because we need to solve for y. Then divide by 5. 
So 2 minus k over 5x minus 3. I need only this one here. 2 minus k over 5. This is m2. Now m1 is equal m2. Why? The lines are parallel. Now we have a simple equation. Cross multiply. 15 is equal 4 minus 2k. Take 2k on the other side. 2k minus 11 because 4 minus 15. So k will be minus 11 over 2. This is question number 3. Question number 4. Also nice question. We need the value of k also. Find the value of k. If these three points, first point, second point, third point, are collinear. I think collinear is clear. Collinear is clear. Collinear means the three points, they lie on the same line. That's the whole idea. To make it easy, you see there is no names here for these points. So I can call this point A, point B, point C for simplicity. The three points are collinear on the same line. So if we have three points on the same line, I can take any two points to find the slope. So I can take AB here. I can take BC there. I can take AC if I like. All will give me the same answer. So I put slope AB is equal to slope BC. That's the formula for each slope. So AB, so now I take A and B. One minus, minus three plus three. Minus four minus K, that's AB here. Now we take BC, B and C. So minus one minus one, you see that one Y two minus Y one. X two, K minus three plus four. Now simplify the equation, 4 over this, minus 2 over that, minus 3 plus 4 is plus 1. Cross multiply, so we get what? 4k plus 4, 8 plus 2k. Bring the k's together, so k will be 2. Nice question. Number 5. <coughs> Find the distance between the x-intercept and the y-intercept of the line. So we have a line. See, just imagine, this is not easy question. <clears throat> we have a line. We need the distance between the x-intercept and the y-intercept of this line, which we don't have. So that means we have to find it. We have to find it. So this line passing through the point 18 and parallel to the line passing through the points 25 and minus 230. Maybe a little sketch will help here. So the points 25 or minus 230, let's let's call it A and B easily. Just call it A and B. You can call it any. E and F if you like. So this is a line. See, this is a line passing through A and B. This line is parallel to another line, which we need our line. Let's call it L2. This is L1. So line one contains the point A and B. Slope is M1. Our line is L2. We call it L2. Passes through the point 18. Now what do we need? This line here, the black, this one L2. This one, L2, we need the x-intercept and the y-intercept. After that, we need the distance. It's a big story here. So let's find the slope of the line L1, which is M1 here. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. So 8 over minus 4 is minus 2. Now the lines are parallel, so they have the same slope. So I use the slope here, M, in the formula for line L2, I use minus two. And then I take the point, one eight. So Y minus eight, X minus one. So this point, one eight, that we use in the equation of the line. Now simplify here, minus two X, leave it, plus two, and there is minus eight becomes plus eight. So minus two X plus 10. This is L2, this is what we need. Now easily, I made this one here quickly. X-intercept, 
let y zero. You know that. So x will be five. Y intercept, let x zero, y 10. Now between these two points, find the distance. This is a nice question because it has a distance. It has x intercept, it has y intercept, it has parallel, it has a slope, it has equation of the line. And then easily you can find the numbers here. Five squared, uh, 10 squared, so that's uh, 125, which is five times 25. Square root of 25 is five out. We leave one five under the radical. So the distance we need five square root of five. Now question number six is a little above average. So we need the equation of the line. Remember now we need the equation of the line. This is in lecture 21, the equation of the line. Y minus Y1 is equal M X minus X1. Tangent to the circle, this is a circle, x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. At the point, 3 minus 4. A nice advice I can give you. If you have a question that you cannot understand from the first time, make a sketch. Make a sketch. Little sketch very quickly. So we have a circle. We have a tangent. You know, the tangent means there is a line touching the circle only in one point. Let's make the sketch. So we have a circle here. How do we know the C is zero, zero? Because that's the equation of a circle. X squared plus Y squared is equal to 25. So the radius here is five and the center is zero, zero. Passing through this point three minus four, there is a tangent line touching in one point, see one point. So this is the point three minus four. So let's find the slope now of this line here. You see C and T. The slope will be according to the formula, minus four over three. Now this line is perpendicular because the distance here from the center to the tangent, this one is perpendicular to our line. See, this is our line here. So the product of the slopes is minus one. See, if this slope is the C and T, the slope is minus four over three, that one three over four, because the product is minus one. We have seen that formula. Now I take this slope here, three over four, and I take this point, Y minus Y one, which is Y plus four, X minus three, and simplify the whole equation. You can write it any way you like. You can write it in this form, you can put x on one side, you can put y on one side, but this is the equation in general. 3x minus 4y minus 25 is equal to zero. You can check the answer. Now question number seven is about parallel. Find m, where is m? Here. So we have here m here in this equation. We have another m here. Find the value of them. If these lines are parallel, that means they have the same slope. We have seen also similar question. But what is the trick here? This line is easy. We can find the slope. So we call it, let's say, M1. This one, we call it M2. And then these slopes are, are the same. But remember, there is a little trick. 2Y and MY here. I told you before, we cannot leave two x's or two y's in the same equation. We have to combine one x, one y numbers. L let me show you what do we do. We did it before, actually. This is equation one. Let's multiply by two here to remove the fraction. So m y plus six is equal minus two x. Solve for y, remember always, always solve for y. Take six on the other side here and then divide by m. So minus two over mx, minus six over m. What is the slope one? This is the coefficient of the x. After, you solve for y. Second one is more difficult because we have y and y. See, minus my, bring it on the other side, becomes my. Take y common factor here, because we have to have one y, one x. So m minus two, and then take 3x on the other side becomes minus 3x plus square root of 3 is there. Just keep it. Now divide by 
the coefficient of the y. So minus 3 over m minus 2 plus square root of 3 over m minus 2. This is slope 2 now, uh, minus 3 over m minus 2. Since the lines are parallel, slope 1 is equal to slope 2. So minus 2 over m is there, minus 3 over m minus 2 is there. Cross multiply, minus 2m plus 4 is equal to minus 3m. And then bring the 3m there becomes uh, m and equals minus 4. Now, these are the answers. If you go to algebra course lecture 21, you can see more examples. You can see the video there. And these are the answers for these seven questions. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much.